Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have a puzzle to solve. Why hasn't the housing market crashed in 2023 despite high mortgage rates and economic uncertainty? First, let's start with Economics 101. Supply and demand control property prices. In economic terms, where supply and demand meet is what we call equilibrium. Last July, this meant 527,000 houses were sold at an average of $415,000 nationwide. Fast forward to 2023, the Fed hiked up the interest rates and as you'd expect, mortgage rates followed suit. Classical economics would predict that demand should fall in such scenarios, right? Yet, we're seeing home prices holding remarkably stable or even going up. So what's going on? Here's the twist in the story. It's all about supply or what's known in real estate as inventory. It has also dropped from 1.24 million homes sold last July to about 980,000 homes this year. This is mainly due to what economists call the lock-in effect. So when both supply and demand decrease somewhat proportionally, what we see is that the equilibrium shifts, but only in terms of quantity, not in terms of price. In simple terms, home prices have stayed pretty much flat year over year, but the volume of sales has seen a 15% drop. You may have seen similar findings reflected in the Mortgage Bankers Association Purchase Index. It's clear that the demand for purchase mortgages has significantly fallen, but because supply has also decreased, we're not seeing prices take a nosedive. Now let's look ahead into 2024. That's the big question, what's going to happen? It seems that supply is likely to remain more or less stable given current trends like the lock-in effect and the lower than average foreclosure rates. The variable here is demand. If interest rates continue to climb or we see instability in the job market, that could finally push prices downward. It's a delicate balancing act. If mortgage rates go down and the economic uncertainty clears up, we might actually see demand go up, pushing prices upward. Conversely, if rates stay as high as they currently are, which is around 7.5%, we could see demand continue to fall. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on what you think 2024 will bring, so feel free to share your opinions. That's all for now. If you're interested in diving deeper into these trends, check out the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. See you soon.